I decided to go into engineering probably 10 years ago. And I did things a little bit differently. I actually was employed first in the civil engineering field. I worked for the city of Vancouver in the public works um, department. And at that point, I fell in love with infrastructure. And when I fell in love with infrastructure, I realized that there weren't so many options for me. And what that's what ultimately led me into civil engineering. Um, from there, I did a part-time program actually with BCIT, and I graduated in 2014. And I hit a cap at kind of an administrative role. And I decided at that point that I wanted to get more involved and I wanted to make more of a difference because really civil engineering, you see it every day. You see it on the roads that you drive on. You see it when the water comes into your home and your sewerage is taken away. And I really like that utility side of things. So that's why I opted to come back to school into the technology program so that I could work on these projects and work in construction moving forward with my career. When I came back to BCIT, I had been out of school for about 12 years, just to age me a little bit. And what I really enjoyed is the, the sense of camaraderie with everyone and how you have friends from all different dynamics, whether you know, you're right out of high school or somebody who's come from a different field. And I've really liked that component to, to BCIT. I also really enjoy all the clubs and all of the, the events that BCIT puts on. I really like to get involved with a lot of that. So what I really like about the civil engineering program is they encompass a lot of areas within civil engineering. So we cover a portion of structures and we cover soils, we cover municipal, um, we cover material testing where we're actually using hands-on lab activities where we're breaking concrete cylinders, mixing concrete, mixing asphalt. And from somebody who's come from the field and come back to school, I can really attest to the fact that everything we learn within second year is very practical and hands-on and it's something that I deal with at work quite frequently. So whether it's construction management or municipal engineering where we're designing um, in underground infrastructure, for example, where we're doing sewer design and water design, road design, these are all things that we do. Um, they also do a lot of work within AutoCAD and Civil 3D and Revit and all of these like industry specific programs which I know other institutions like UBC and SFU don't necessarily take part on. We also do a whole year on surveying where we get to go outside and we're not just stuck in a classroom all day. And again, these are skills that are brought in to help us and aid us in furthering our careers later on. Um, another great thing about the civil program is really the civil faculty. They're there for you all the time and that's a great thing I find about BCIT that it's not like UBC. You're not sitting in a lecture hall with 500 different people. You know, you know all of your faculty members by name. They know you by name. They'll see you in the hallway. You know, they'll send you an email at nine o'clock at night if you're asking them questions with a deadline that was due on Monday or Tuesday, because you will procrastinate at, at uh, BCIT. <laughs> um, it's like an open door policy, and I really, really enjoy that. Um, so that's another thing that I just wanted to bring up.